Hey guys, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's here, coming at coming at you with you guessed it, another Tengu Plant Format deck profile. This time we're doing the Steez, the Degenerates, the Ceiling Lowerer, the Life Ruiner, the Heartbreaker, Gravekeepers, with of course Malefics. We're starting out with three Commandants because last time I checked, Necro Valley is a pretty good card. We're gonna do three Spies because it's the big booty, the big big booty. It brings out the Descendant or the Recruiter, whichever you really want. We have two Descendants, of course, and then two Recruiters. You could argue to play three of either of these, like they're not bad, but I just don't feel that they're necessary at all because all you really need to see is like one Descendant and then odds are you can just kind of attrition in because you don't really win this game with this deck through the monsters. You really win it through controlling through the traps and you just don't want to see too many of these because if you have too many normal summons in your hand, then you don't have the critical back row which means you can't control the game, which means you'll lose out. Because, I mean, what good is normal summoning a Descendant if it just dies the next turn? So, I don't really feel like it's good to run three of those. And then the one tech assailant, because it does run over a lot of monsters, most, well, I'd say, I wouldn't say most, but I'd say, like, 75% to 80% of the monsters in this game, in this format, have, like, less than 2,000 defense. So, it's pretty good for that matter. Then we have one Sangan, so we can search for, like, almost any of those. At least the ones that matter. You can search for Spy. And then two Malefics. I don't like playing three because, again, it's the same thing as running three Descendants. You'll have too many monsters in your hand, and you'll just start clogging. And you don't get the uh, the cards that you need that get you to your victory. So then, last, then we have three good cards. Two really good cards. Like, oh my god. Just... Steal the game from their hands, and then one stealth. Because it does recycle them, it is a plus one, it's it's really awesome, but this is the worst card to open your hand with. You want to see that mid-game to solidify the V. Alright, we have three dualities, because we have to dig for all of the weird combo butt pieces, and it just really helps declog. And then a bunch of like staply kind of cards, Dark MST, Book, and Ground. It gets over the big monsters, and I mean, if hopefully they don't have a properly summoned Stardust Dragon, because that's really, just really good against this deck. And, ugh, just, that card is a deal and a half. Luckily we do have Starlight Roads. We play multiples because we really, really cannot afford losing multiple traps. Like, like I said, like that is your win condition. So it's super critical that you resolve them. So protecting them is just what you do. We have one Mirror Force, because Mirror Force, it was limited. Two Fiendish Chain, because it just, hopefully you can, make, you can stop your opponent before they produce a big board, and this is a great way to do it. It's also a great way to clog your back row. A, if one Compulse, because it's versatile and it does get rid of Stardust, it's really nice that way. One Torrential, two Bottomless, and of course, two warnings, a judgment, and then dust shoot, which is the best way to deal with any big monsters. Like, if I could fit in D prisons, I totally, totally would. Because D prison would be super nice for this deck, but at that point, you're running so many traps, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Extra deck, we now have um, three Stardust Dragons and a bunch of monsters you'll never, ever, ever, ever summon. Maybe Levier. Maybe Zen Mains. But never summon. Just, you don't. It's not how you win in this deck. It's really not. It's really Stardust or Bust. Alright. Yeah. So there you go. The Degenerate, the Disgusting, the Wonderful Gravekeepers. Now I'll see you guys next time. Have a good time.